What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Reek Knows Hoops. I'm your host, Tyreek, and I'm just recording this because the Nets just got done playing their first game with James Harden. So the beginning of the James Harden, KD, and we'll say Kyrie, too, even though he didn't play tonight. He was supposed to come back, but he didn't play tonight. But that era has begun, and James Harden put up a 30-point triple-double in his debut, and they got the win against the Orlando Magic. Now, I didn't get to see the first half of this game. But from what, from what my guys in the group chat was saying, it's saying, like, James Harden is really, you know, he's doing his thing. Like, he was really facilitating well in that first half. I think he had, like, seven assists in the first half. And I think, like, he should be the lead ball handler on this team because I think he is just the best playmaker out of, you know, KD, Kyrie, and himself. So, you know, kind of it's, it's kind of probably going to be, like, his first year under D'Antoni in Houston, I think. Like, D'Antoni just put the ball in his hands – as the league guard, and I think he led the league in assists with like 11 a game that season, second MVP vote. It's going to be similar to that, but, you know, around him he has two of the most prolific scorers in the league and Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. So offensively speaking, this team is going to be scary. Now, they're still kind of whack on defense. I mean, it was already whack before the trade, but, you know, I, I – there's not really much that they can do to get this defense better. I mean, I guess the objective for them is to outscore people, but they have three of the best scorers in the league to do that. And it's going to be hard to, you know, contain all three of them on the same night. And even if you get nights where, like, one or two of them are off, you're still going to have, you know, another guy that can put up 30 in his sleep. You know, that's pretty much how it's going to be with this team. James Harden ended up with 32 12 rebounds and 14 assists. Shot like 8 for 18, so not crazy efficient, but, I mean, a little under 50%. And then on the other side, Kevin Durant was doing KD-like things. I mean, this was this was his first week back after he had the, he had the quarantine because of, you know, virus stipulations and stuff. But he ended this game with a ridiculous 42 points, 16 to 26 shooting. Like, KD is just one of the most efficient in the league. Five for eight from three. I mean, you know, he's really just doing his thing. Um, my guy, Samari, also said in the group chat, he's saying, like, James was trying to overfeed KD a little bit in the first half, probably just trying to get his rhythm going. But, you know, it definitely started to even itself out. I think James didn't even have double figures in the first half. I think he had, like, eight points or something like that, and he ended with 32 in the game. So, yeah, I mean, I can't wait to see how they look with Kyrie, too, on the floor because – now, that's just going to be, you know, a scary sight. I mean, they're probably going to be, like, if they play against an elite big, like, when they play against Philadelphia, they're probably going to get chewed up by Embiid. You know, if Embiid's really on his game, which he has been this season, Embiid's been hooping. Uh, like, in this game, Vucevic had 34 on them, 10 rebounds and 7 assists, and he was efficient, too. So, you know, Vucevic is a, you know, all-star caliber big in the Eastern Conference. But, you know, going, when you end up going against, like, Joel Embiid and, you know, Anthony Davis, Jokic, you know, Carl Anthony Towns, guys like that. It's going to be tough to really – it's going to be tough to really, like, contain those guys as much. But on the other end, you know, all those guys except for, like, you know, Anthony Davis and, you know, MB to an extent, you know, they can attack them on the offensive end too. And, you know, they just have three of just the most dynamic scorers in the league. So it's going to be tough – for a team, for any team to really, you know, keep pace with them. You know, I'm going to be interested, obviously, once Kyrie comes back, like I said, but, you know, when they match up against, you know, some some of the top teams in the league, like the Lakers, you know, the Clippers, even like Philadelphia, Milwaukee, I'm going to be interested to see how they match up with those, those teams. You know, Joe Harris had, you know, 17. If Joe Harris is giving you 17, <laughs> you're a pretty good team, man. The thing, like, the thing that makes this situation so scary, like in the past, for like James Harden specifically, teams would really just load up against him and, you know, force the ball out of his hands. Like I remember the last time he played Golden State in the playoffs, I think 2019, it was coming down to crunch time. They would just, you know, pretty much double team him at half court. As soon as he crossed half court, get the ball out of his hands immediately. Or they would send two, three defenders at a time just to keep the ball out of his hands. I mean, and, you know, force Eric Gordon and P.J. Tucker and those guys to, you know, hit shots consistently. And you don't really – you don't have that option with this team because not only do you have 
you know, James himself, but you have Kyrie and you have KD, and then you got, you know, guys like Joe Harris that can shoot the shoot the lights out, Landry Shamit. You know, he's been shooting better this season. I mean, you got guys that can knock down shots and also elite creators on the offensive end. So it's going to be hard for teams to try and load up against James Harden. I'm, I'm happy for him that he's he's in a perfect situation, it seems like. I know it's just one game and Kyrie hasn't even played, but it definitely seems like a perfect situation for him. And, you know, offensively, this team is going to be hard to keep up with. The only concern really is on the defensive end. And really, DeAndre Jordan... He played 23 minutes since, what, two points over two from the field, only five rebounds. He was a minus three, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you good. But, yeah, um, <laughs> my God, Tavier just walked in. <laughs> But, yeah, once Kyrie gets back, this team's definitely going to be scary to look at. Um, you know, they just got to clean those things up on the defensive end. But, really, I mean, other than that, great debut from James Harden. Uh, I know I said my next video is going to be, like, breakdowns and stuff, but I had to react to this game real quick. You know, it just ended not too long ago. So, I'm going to be back with that video probably early next week, I think. Early next week I'll be back with that video. But, yeah, James Harden made his debut. They got the seven-point win, 30-point triple-double. You know, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll be back next time. Peace.